to all my manners. My name is German Skrzak, Paladin of Torok and the leader of the group. On behalf of our whole clan, I thank you for your help. And you must be Haram, the priest of Grotus. I've heard a lot about you and the un unusual path you've taken. I would like to speak with you. You would like... Well, I wouldn't even like to even see you. We have nothing to discuss. This is just what I need to listen to another sermon about Turok's greatness. The paladin replies to Haram's indignation with a humble bow. I'm not so arrogant as to preach to a priest. Your faith is, faith is your choice. I'm not one to question it. I only wanted to know more about your spiritual journey. In response, Haram only sniffs with contempt. Haram, you've broken my rule with your bare hands before. Like, tell him we just destroyed the one Dwarven Smith everyone was so proud about. That's gonna go well. What? When did that happen, Sam? Uh, wait, are you talking about that anvil? Oh, yes, I did do that. But why? Ask Rotus what it meant. It received no answer. Herm pensively wraps his beard around his finger. Anyway, are you safe now? Yes, your grace. May Turok bless the soul you walk upon. You saved us. The Skujek clan is in your debt. That's one million gold I want to see tomorrow. Alas, we have no treasure to reward you for your uh, kind, kind aid. Right, really. But that is only temporary. Believe me. When we find a way inside the fort and recover the legacy of our ancestors, we will see that no one can accuse the Skirjax clan of stinginess. Herm sneers bitterly. Look at them, Sam. Here they are, true children of Turok. Greedy, conceited, unable to see beyond their own nose. They barely escaped death and they, there they are, diving into its maw again, blinded by the glitter of imaginary treasures. I contemplate making them leave. Let us allow them to stay and continue what they are doing. They are in such a hurry to dig their own graves. Let us not interfere. Thank you. I see if you have no love for your people or our gods. No, no. Don't be so quick to frown. I have no wish to preach to you. But I believe you said you broke the unbreakable with your bare hands. Please tell me about this. I think I have an idea of what power lies within you. The searing palm. Her voice sounds dull and lifeless. The magic anvil in the those desolate bronze shield fortress desecrated by trolls it was destroyed by my fist as it were made of sand a wood I had rotten from within and only waited to be touched to fall to dust it, Jamon pensively holds his hand upon Turek's hammer chains about his neck could it be? German what are you talking about? what power hides inside Harem? the touch of the unmaker this is a rare very rare gift of the gods Happens once in a generation. I can't say who grants it. Perhaps Torak? Perhaps Grotus? Or perhaps it comes from some other source we know nothing about. It's the power to give death to things which live on beyond their proper time. Ill things created with a flaw. Like this golem, desecrated like the anvil. The robust creation of dwarven hands. They're back for death but must continue to exist. A dwarf blessed by the touch of the Unmaker can put an end to their suffering. Nonsense. I've never heard of this. Grotus wanted granted me this power. Why do I have to find out about it from some paladin of a traitor god? The god of heartlessness and cowardice. A gift of the gods. I Grotus. You prove it to prove it or you admit you are lying. Jeremy listens calmly to the stream of insults raining down on him from Karim. When the latter, latter has finally spent his breath, the paladin replies quietly. Yes, I can prove it. And how can you prove your words? The touch of the Unmaker is not only the power to destroy. He can take the heart from an item. All the love and effort put into its maker by the mercy of Turag. Strike the Goron once more. Complete the Unmaker and show us its heart. gloomily at the quiet golem and shrugs and smashes it with his fists. The golem falls to the fragments with a pitiful clink, leaning down to search for the pieces Harum takes hold of a shimmering blue jewel. He examines it and turns to you. The priest's face is sad and baffled. There, a gift from Turok. Be he damned. So what's next? What do I do with it? We can get gam stumps from different broken pieces of iron. Good for you. You'll be rich. Such a pragmatic young man. However, I'm afraid the hearts of the artifacts have much more value in one piece. Well, if it's a gift from Turok, then give it to a servant. 
Warm hands to Drew to Jamundel. Jamundel. Thank you for telling me of my gift, Jamund. I don't expect it will reconcile me with Torak or with my people. If I find a way to make good use of it, fine. If not, it doesn't matter. I can keep looking for the entrance or go back to your mountains. I cannot. I want to lower his hat. Thank you, Heron. We helped this guys and, and he gave it away to them. We, we rewarded them for helping them. I will make a good use of this gift. I'm sorry that everything turned out the way it did. But I respect your decision and won't try to convince you. Farewell. Heron turns to you. Gifts from the gods, curses from the gods. Starting to think it's the same thing. But thank you for coming here with me. I probably wouldn't even have talked to this German on my own. But now? Now I have much to come to plan. Let us go some. Let's leave the ski jacks to do as they will. Okay. Step, step, step. Safe. You're so nearly done for. Isn't like the touch of the unmaker uh, something you would, you know, reveal. Like, like, like a proof that this guy is. Oh my god, why can I do this? It's like, you know, the chosen one. Really? Really? Could be worse. Really? What? <laughs> this time I saved. This time I don't have to redo the entire fight in the conversation and then. <laughs> okay. 30 mobility? How is it? I cannot do this. Never thought I had that much. Oh, how? Weak suffer. Can I not make that? I need your breath. How can I not make this jump? Flower. Don't, don't tell me Amiri is my mobility guy. Thirty DC. Thirteen, sixteen, twelve, thirteen, minus one. Oh my god! But still, she need to get like a fourteen, fifteen, and we should do it. Done and done. And first try. Die. What? There's nothing here. Wait, why is that thing even here then? Wait, what? Yes. Step, step. Yes. Our clan owes you. Just keep remembering that. When you pay me your million debts away, oh, you would be dead without me. He's scammed. Right, let's go and see what Amiri is doing. Can we finally go here? Well, of course, or we wouldn't be able to reach that. Oh my god. Fine, I'm coming. I'm fighting. Time for fun. Mm. Barbarian and Elder Air Elements. It's actually not good. The elements are very strong. That stupid massive AOE is so annoying. Spin for win, huh? That playing against Garen in Leech of Legends. Oh, 
what is this dude, dude doing here? Why is he attacking me? Does Hiram keep getting attacked? Hope not. If flames seem to do more damage. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Stop spinning! No spinning! Doesn't do much damage. A lot of healings. I'm not expecting to do buffs anyways. So let's use the healings. Alright, I was hoping you could get away with no spell casting, but seems to be that is not the case. And I miss. Why do I keep missing that? Scorching ray attack bonus. Why is it so hard to hit? Attack touch, right? Touch is like easier to hit than it actually should be. Right? The fireball. It seems to hit easier. I mean what the rules are your rules I don't know what an My annoying enemy a spin for win This guy was geared up. Oh, yeah, they were all pretty geared up. I have a little good it did to them, but they were pretty geared up. I need to take a, a nap. Respite? Replenish my spells. I feel like something is weird with Tristan. Is it just me? 